Hello everyone, this is Jolly Milk and today we're gonna be building a house with no cheats. So I'm not allowed to use move objects, I'm not allowed to use debug, I'm not allowed also to use mods. So it is gonna be a challenge and the house that I chose as an inspiration is this one. I thought it was really cool so that's what we're gonna try to build today. It's gonna be... 100% a challenge. So the first thing that we can see in this house is um, they have like a big rectangle like that. Um, and then they have a porch that looks like it has like two heights like this. Okay, so that's the first part. And now for the second floor, it's like if we have a square like this and then we have like another square like that and another one like this i think this looks kind of weird if i'm being honest with you i'm gonna use a random fence just so we have an idea of what it's supposed to look like like that um and then the roof the roof is like a big triangle like that oh and by the way i am going to use alt and shift and stuff because this is not a cheat <laughs> so i think it's okay if we use it and then we have a chimney too so let's build a chimney using half walls maybe like that i think this works and now we have to work on the back here i think we can extend this part a little bit more let's see if we're actually able to do this okay so this is how it's looking like so far i try to make the back uh, of the house like this i know that this looks weird um let me try i don't know how to fix that if i'm being honest with you unless if we do it like this but i think it it just looks a little weird but we'll see we'll see how this is gonna turn out to be and we're gonna change the colors too so don't worry about it now we need a black and big door that is similar to that one. So I feel like we could use... Honestly, we're not gonna have a door like that. So I feel... We could either try the eco lifestyle one in black. This is actually great. Or we can try the snowy escape one. Let's see with the snowy escape. See how this is gonna look like. Oh, this is not looking good already. It's because I just want the door to be centered. Maybe we should use the eco lifestyle one. Let's see. Or even this one, you know. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this looks much better. The door is not in the middle, but... Ugh. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I don't like it as well, but we can ignore that because I'll either make it smaller and then I would have to s make it this part smaller too. Oh my god, the camera. Stop it. Anyways, let's put the windows. Okay, so another problem. I cannot use a um, bigger door for medium height. And if I use a, s oops, if I use a small door... It's gonna look weird because the windows are big. Wait a minute, we could use this one. Let's see. We might have to make it smaller again. Like this would make more sense. And then they also, they put other windows here. I honestly don't know how we're gonna do this without move objects. Like, it's gonna look like the ugliest thing ever. I have to say that this is a tragedy already. And we barely started. Seriously, like, I cannot place anything here. So, we might not add anything. Okay, and now we should probably replace our fence to put something more similar to the picture. And it's probably gonna be not this one. Okay, I think the best option that we're probably gonna get is the fence from Get to Work. Now we need something to put here like a trim i feel like this one is cool and then the trim of the roof probably gonna be our best option even though it looks thicker in the picture so maybe we could do like this one like this you know okay and i know that they have stuff like this but in a brown color i think i'm gonna put this 
um, darker brown here. Maybe I'll change the color of this foundation. So we're just working on the details now. This place. Oh, I feel like this is a nice brown. Let's use it. And now let's paint. This house has a lot of browns is what I can see. Like probably a color that is similar to this one that we can use okay so i couldn't find the exact color so i decided to use a more chocolate brown um and also this stone uh wallpaper and then i added some pillars and there were some places that i could not place them because of move objects but that is okay um, and now we're gonna go to the windows again and put more windows around the house. So let's try to find good matches. Okay, so I added some windows and it was definitely hard. I could not place windows everywhere that I wanted. I wanted to actually put this window here, but I couldn't. So I had to improvise with this one. I wanted to put other windows here, but again, I couldn't. So I had to improvise. I basically had to improvise a lot with this build, period. But this is the main part of the house. It's done. Now we just have to add the details on the exterior, so like lights and plants and everything. They have some smaller lights up here that we can add. And they have bigger ones. Then it seems that they have uh, an outside table, so we could add that too. We don't have many square options, but this is one of them, so... I thought that we could add it with some nice chairs. And they have some plants. So let's add some plant, some plants on the outside. So we can add that one and other plants like this one from base game. Maybe these plants and they have another one here on the table. It's not the same one, but... It's not bad, this option, and they have some plants here on the outside, so we're gonna have to mess with terrain paint. They have, like, a dirt path. I don't know how we're gonna make this look good, if I'm being honest with you. Now we need some, like, bushes. Yeah, but it's gonna be hard, because we don't have move objects. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so bad. But I feel like this is gonna be the best that we can do with the move objects. <gasps> oh, oh my god, okay, it's definitely not my favorite. But it is supposed to be a challenging experience, so it's definitely challenging. And it's not exactly what it is in the picture, but I don't know. And then for the backyard, we can add some plants that look like the ones around us so let's see maybe plants like trees actually like these ones you know something like that and we can even build a pool and i want to use our riviera retreat kit and now we can add some loungers perhaps in this color a towel um thingy more loungers Okay, so maybe this is better. So something simple. We can even add like a sound system. Why not? Here so it doesn't burn. But this is our pool, our loungers, and uh, a towel table. I don't know how you call that. And our house. We do have to place some stairs. I do not think I'm going to furnish the house i think i'm gonna leave it unfurnished for you but i'm just gonna add some stairs real quick like maybe we can even place the stairs here i'm just gonna add some final touches like the terrain paint okay so i just added some final touches some trees um the terrain paint but this is the house built with no cheats. It's not furnished. 
but I'm gonna upload it to the gallery now for you. Okay, so the house is up in the gallery. It's called No Cheats on Furnishing. This picture is just amazing. I love how The Sims takes wonderful pictures of our builds to upload it to the gallery. Um, I used a few packs and it's only 20, 20,000. So yeah, feel free to decorate it and tag me on Twitter. It's on my description, but I also put it here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and send this video to a friend if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.